Democratic strategist Liz Chatterton and Washington Times reporter Kelly Riddell join us with whether they view last night as, I guess, a success for the Democratic Party and whether Trump is playing his reaction to the DNC appropriately. Um, Liz, first off, Bernie yeah. Sanders' uh, followers may be completely annoyed and furious, <laughs> but do they jump to Donald Trump? He's trying to get them now. It's an interesting question. I think we're all trying to figure that out. Personally, I believe that a vast majority, I would say at least 80% of Bernie supporters in the primary will eventually vote for Hillary Clinton in the November election. But I don't know if all of them will. And frankly, that's the beauty of democracy. We all get to walk into the ballot. It's a secret ballot and vote for who we want. I do think that both Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders represent a part of the American populace that is eager for something beyond the establishment current political Bingo. thinking, yeah. if you will. I just don't see, though, a vast majority of Bernie Sanders supporters who are on the far left, who are, for the most part, pro-choice, they are anti-gun, they are pro-gay rights. I just don't see them voting for Donald Trump. Okay. But I do think some of them might, sure. Well, Kelly, maybe, you know, that uh, I think that Liz might be right in that if, if he mm -hmm. picked Mike Pence, as his running mate, who is staunchly pro-life, and then you've got mm -hmm. some other issues. The millennials who tended to really swarm toward Bernie might mm -hmm. not be rushing out. But let's talk a bit about last night, because Michelle Obama, l listen, we, we know where Lou Dobbs stands on a lot of this stuff, but when Lou Dobbs says Michelle Obama's speech was incredible, she came out and she did something without that cringeful anger, it felt, mm -hmm. at least to a lot of viewers. You as a Republican a strategist here, what does something like that do for Hillary Clinton with the, the presumed backdrop of a lot of angry Bernie Sanders voters still undecided? Well, I think Michelle Obama was the savior of last night. If you looked at Elizabeth Warren's speech, it was very underwhelming. <clears throat> Bernie Sanders gave the, gave the same speech that he gave two weeks ago in endorsing uh, Hillary Clinton. So Michelle Obama, it was really up to her to make the case for uh, Hillary Clinton. And it's, it was expected. Uh, she, she, Michelle Obama and her husband have been in the White House for the last seven years. They are going to make the case that America is already great again. They want Hillary Clinton to win because that means that it's his preserving his legacy. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it was unexpected. I did think it was personal and I think that Michelle Obama is a great orator. But uh, if she weren't there last night, I think things could have erupted into complete chaos. Um, and we're still seeing that today. The fact that they're still haggling over what Bernie Sanders' role is going to be tonight means that there is a great division within the Democratic Party. Well, Liz, you get to answer that because you have a better read on what's going on, but it looks like there is still some division due to the gigantic cyber hack that was involving WikiLeaks and 20,000 emails, many of them purporting to show it really wasn't a fair fight between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. Well, I definitely think that the timing of the release of those emails was not coincidental. The fact that they came out just 24 to 48 hours before the start of the Democratic Convention does definitely give us some pause as to exactly who was behind it and what their purpose was. But I will agree, frankly, as a Democrat, I was very upset to see that the Democratic National Committee, which needs to stay neutral in a Democratic primary, clearly wasn't staying as neutral as it should be. Now, do I I think that because of that, the primary results are wrong or somehow were rigged. No, I don't believe that. I do believe that a majority of Democratic primary voters in America voted for Hillary Clinton. But I am disappointed in the party, and I think, yes, there are a lot of Bernie supporters who are disappointed in the party. However, I think what you're going to see as this convention goes on tonight, Wednesday night, and certainly okay. Thursday night, when she takes the stage, we're going to come together as a party. Listen, it's great to have both of you, Liz Chatterton, Chatterton Group, sure. senior political strategist and Kelly Riddell, Washington Times reporter. Uh,